All right, this is True Patriot 09. I just wanted to do a uh, quick review on my latest purchase. This is a Ruger American Predator in 308. Um, a couple things that I have done to it are I put the Conus T30 on it. Uh, I've already uh, put a review on YouTube on my channel uh, about this optic. Um, so far, I mean, it's like I said, it's super clear. I hadn't had a chance to shoot it yet, but the optic is really, really clear. Um, it's a 312 by 44. Uh, it's kind of a short, beefy scope. Um, doesn't weigh a lot. I've got the UTG scope mounts. Uh, what I just put on a little bit ago was this Glade Armory uh, bolt. It's just an extended bolt. You can see it, it does kind of, you know, it's, uh, it protrudes a little bit more, just a little bit easier to get your hand on um, opposed to the bolt that came with it so you can see definitely a big difference uh, really nice American made I think it was like 54 bucks super easy to put on uh, they make it for Savage Ruger Remington uh, I believe it's a couple other more a uh, couple other companies Tika some places uh, some uh, firearm manufacturers such as that um, I ended up getting a new bottle of uh, Brownells Alumahide and Coyote. I thought it looked really nice on this green stock. So you can see I came all the way down, ended up getting a, uh, a muzzle brake. Uh, it's, uh, it's an American made, I want to say it's a gun tech maybe muzzle brake. Um, looks really nice on the firearm, so we'll pan back a little bit. And you can see that uh, it's a, it turned out to be a really good looking firearm. Um, kind of excited to shoot it. This is my third Ruger American that I've had. All of them have shot unbelievably well. Uh, the ones that I've had, I mean, I, I've read some good things about this. I was back and forth on the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 308. Decided to go with the 308 uh, with the distances that I'll be shooting. I don't need a 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, plus the 308, um, some of the, the blogs and things that I read, uh, the 308 is a better caliber for hunting larger game anyway um, you know we're talking elk or something like that if I ever decide to go so that's why I went with the 308 uh, Ruger's obviously a good good name good great gun these guns have gotten great reviews uh, it's got the the heavy barrel on it inexpensive the 308 ammo is inexpensive um, you know I got the bipod on it and uh, like I said, I'm, I'm excited about getting out. It's got the adjustable trigger. I've adjusted it. Uh, bolt super smooth on it. And uh, looking forward to going out. Uh, I'll definitely get video of, of me shooting. I've got some new ammo upstairs that I'm going to try out. Uh, a couple of different ammos like I usually do. And like I said, it's just a great firearm. And I'll tell you, you know, when, when I got this stock, you know, uh, a lot of people say, you know, we some of us at least like to, to paint stocks and things like that and I tried a couple different things the one on my Ruger American uh, that I painted uh, turned out really well it was that cryptic snake kind of like pattern that I kind of came up with with some netting well anyway I didn't really like at when I painted this one I didn't really like what it looked like so a lot of people think that once you paint your stock your it's painted you'll never get it off or to rub off or it looks bad well, let me just go ahead and tell you that that is not that's not the case and what I use and it works great and I'm talking within 10 minutes you can have this and I had this whole entire stock completely stripped you can get it at Walmart it's called citrus strip um, it's a stripping gel it's made from oranges I'm guessing uh, no odor whatsoever doesn't hurt the stock didn't hurt the butt pad I got it on the butt pad didn't dry it out basically cleaned the entire stock took a silicone cloth afterwards wiped it off and now it looks like it did when it came from the factory so just wanted to do a quick review on this uh, Glade Armory uh, I'm out of Florida a great bolt really nice it's got some rubber in there um, put the gun tech muzzle brake on it use the Brownells Aluma hide it really looks good with this green uh, the Conus Pro great warranty UTG uh, scope mounts which I love really do and I'm just looking forward to getting out there and shooting this firearm doing a review on it uh, I hope you all enjoyed it uh, if you have any questions please leave it in the comments 
uh, like I always say, you know, let's just uh, let's pray for our first responders. Let's pray for our military. Let's pray for them and their families, the safety of all of us, of our nation. Uh, let's pray for Donald Trump and Mike Pence that they do what they say they're going to do. Uh, and God bless you all. And, and thank you for watching. This is True Patriot 09.